What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video, I am showing you DIY African inspired earrings. They are made out of wood. I purchased them from my local beauty supply store. And here I am spraying on the adhesive spray. I should be wearing gloves, but I'm not. I learned that the hard way when I was making the video. So here I'm sprinkling on the glitter. So guys, as you can see, the reason for the cardboard is because you know how glitter is. It gets everywhere. And I just wanted to be an easy cleanup once I was done. I was sprinkling the glitter on. Then I started to find like easier and faster ways to, you know, apply the glitter to the earrings. And I also was dumping in the excess glitter back into the container. Who wants to waste glitter? Look how messy my hands are. I was trying to find a way to make it a little more convenient applying the glitter. So that didn't really work out too well, but it was hell cleaning that glitter off of my fingers. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So here from the looks of things, it's coming out pretty good. Now you have to make sure that when you are spraying the adhesive spray, that you are not spraying it too close because you don't want it to start thickening up because then that's how the glitter is going to stick to the earring. And that's what I learned by doing this as well. As you can see that little part right there where it's like white and bubbling, that's where I sprayed it a little too close. But I tried to fix it the best way that I could and I think I did a good job so far. Wow, look at that earring. It came out pretty good. Beautiful job. Okay, now on the second earring, as you can see, I have tape on it. I was trying to do something different. The first earring I was using the package that it came in to try to help me separate it, but the tape actually worked pretty good. Although it was difficult once you did the other part of the glitter. You see right here, I sprayed a little bit too much. And that's my daughter. She's helping me sprinkle the glitter on. My little sweet pie. and it is pretty straight and clean using the tape so I'm happy with the outcome of that but here's the problem that I'm talking about when I'm doing the second color for the glitter you have to block the top part of the glitter where when you're spraying it so that it doesn't you know get wet again and that was a little difficult and then we sprayed a little bit too much so I just spread it out a little bit and then we apply the gold, but I think that took pretty well. So 
So once we got one, the last one, it was pretty simple just to spray it because you can just block the other two colors with a piece of paper or tape, whatever you have to use, and then just apply the glitter. The middle section was the hardest because you wanna make sure that, you know, you don't mess up the first one. It seems a little easier compared to doing the middle one. To keep the glitter from transferring to things, you can spray hairspray or Mod Podge on it and you should be good. Here's the final results of my DIY African inspired earrings. Be sure to hit the bell so you know when I upload videos. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have your own style, pal. I'm out.